All right, hey party people, Marcus Hawkins here. It's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. You can get a shirt, links below. All right, let's hop right into it. Come on and learn this lick with me. So at first, this whole lick is gonna be based off of five licks. Technically, eighth note five licks. Um, you can count them, however, as like one E and a da, two E and a da, three E and a da. If you wanna think about it kind of like in a halftime situation or if you want to think about it still in eighth notes, you can do the, the common university, university, uh. But I'm gonna be thinking about the quarter note eventually kind of right around here. University, 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 or one E and the two E and the one E and the two E and the uh. Just a little bit of a background. So first things first, I have uh, an actual five lit on the downbeat. It's gonna be all left hands and I have a nice sort of texture that comes right before it so a zoom like a drag that drag will be closed in this particular situation and I want to keep it fairly low and fairly close to that first note so let's just go this fast ba 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 and with the actual drag it'll sound like this za ta 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 da za ta 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 da let's try it one two ready and za ta 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 da again two ready and za ka ta 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 da again one two Ready? And zaka ta 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 And I am gonna be ending on a right hand note that's nice and low. Try it again. One, two, ready, and zaka ta 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 Yeah. One, two, ready, and zaka ta 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 And I'm gonna be putting a lot of sort of dead, relaxed weight on that first note there, sort of leaning into it. And it's gonna give me kind of a heavier, warmer, sort of weighted feel. Now, on this next kind of beat here, technically beat three, I have a nine lip. All really a nine-lit is, is just kind of triplets that are nested inside a hemiola triplet, right? So, triplet, uh, triplet, uh. And I'm gonna take each one of those notes here, boom, 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 and I'm gonna have three notes off of that main idea. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bigga da, bigga da, bigga da, ba. And a lot of times you actually hear me sing that as bigga da, bigga da, bigga da, ba. Bigger da bigger da bigger da ba, right? There, I was just kind of taking them as putadas, but in my actual music, I have it as a putada paradiddle diddle, right? Bigger da bigger da bigger da ba, putada paradiddle diddle da, yeah? Let's take that nice and slow, um, only going about this this particular tempo. Bigger da bigger da bigger da da. One, two, ready? And bigger the bigger the bigger the ba. And notice that the putta da, that first note is low, and then I'm actually accenting um, the the first part or partial of the actual paradiddle diddle. Let's try it. One, two, ready. And bigger the bigger the bigger the ba. Again, two, ready. And bigger the bigger the bigger the ba. Again, two, ready. And bigger the bigger the bigger the ba. One more time. Two, ready. And bigger the bigger the bigger the ba. Now. If you start to get a little bit weird with that type of figure, it's a very common figure, especially within modern rudimental writing. If you start to get a little bit weird with it, record yourself just playing a regular nine lit. You can play it as, as singles, like bigga da bigga da bigga da ba, bigga da bigga da bigga da ba, or you can record them as uh, para, uh, as putadas, right? Bigga da bigga da bigga da ba and play it back for yourself and try to put different stickings within that nine-lit construct. So it'll really kind of help you to clean yourself and cross-check and cross -check yourself when you're playing a figure like that. Now, I'm gonna back that up and add that on. So I have University, let's try it, two. One, two, ready, and zaka ta 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 ba. Two, ready, and zaka ta 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 ba. Two, ready, zaka ta 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 ba. One more time, ready, zaka ta 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 ba. Cool. After that, this next part is fairly easy. I just have two sets of five lits back to back, all on the right hand, all on the left hand, with that nice kind of dead weight, heavy but relaxed sort of form. So I have this. Boom. University. University. Uh, let's play it. Two. One, two, ready, and beep 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 beep. Two, ready, and two, ready, 
and pop 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 Nice. Let's back that up now and let's take Zaka Taka 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 Cool. Now, this next count, once again, I have another fivelet. I'm going to be accenting the first two parts or partials of that fivelet, and it's going to send me over to my left hand. So, pa 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 pa. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. Let's try it. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, one. Again, two, ready, and pa 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 pa. Again, two, ready, and ta 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 ta. Yeah. Again, two, ready, yeah. Ti 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 ta. One more time. Two, baby. Ba 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 ba. Nice. Coming off of that, I have just regular old eighth notes. So I'm starting to kind of spread out the density of notes here before I have a next kind of push or closeness of of of, of density and 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 sort of velocity um, within the actual composition. So. Two sixteenth notes, I mean two eighth notes, and what's gonna happen here, starting on the left hand, three and with the shot, four and, so my left hand, three and four and, three and four and, and I'm actually doing a pancake on my right hand with, this is just sort of going around the outside. My actual bead is pushing out towards my right and then coming back around. Notice when I actually do that though, um, that my elbow isn't coming super far in. Da, 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 right? That stays in a generally in kind of the same spot here when I do that. The thing that is happening with my right hand is that it's turning sort of over a little bit when I'm actually doing that in order to keep the stick fairly close to my actual arm when I'm doing that. I am keeping the, the fulcrum in the front of my hand engaged when I do that. So I'm not letting that go or kind of flaring my fingers out almost like a palm roll, right? So my actual fulcrum or that first two kind of finger connection is still in there. Just something to think about. So let's try that just by itself. Three and four and one. Let's try it. Ready? And go. And three and four and one. Again and go. And three and four and one. Again and go. And three and four and one. Again, and go, and three, and four, and one. Nice. Now, let's back that up and take ba da 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 Two, ready, and da 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 Again, one, two, ready, and da 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 Again, one, two, ready, and da 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 Again, one, two, ready, yeah, da 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 One more time, two. One, two, ready, yeah, and university, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, cool. Next, I have two sets of kind of 16th note, eighth note combinations. So, one e and two e and three. da ga da da ga da da yeah? The first one will be off of the left hand, and that right hand is gonna do a stick click on the E. So, one e and, and then the next one will be off of the right hand, but the left hand will have a back stick on the E. So, two e and. One E and two E and so uh 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 stick click on the right hand but that figure was off of the left left right left and then right left right let's try it nice and slow going this fast one E and two E and reti yanda go and one E and two E and reti yanda go and one E and two E and reti yanda go one E and two E and reti yanda go and one E and two E and reti yanda go and pa pa pom pa pa pom reti yanda go and pa pa pom pa pa pom reti yanda go pa pa pom pa pa pom reti yanda go pa pa pom pa pa pom reti yanda go pa pa 
boom, ba -ba boom. One more time. Ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom. Nice. So let's back that up now and let's go. Yes. Let's try it. One, two, one, two, ready, and. Again, two, ready, and. Again, two, ready, and. Cool. Now, just a little bit of a side note about that stick on stick. Especially being that I'm still moving my left hand throughout that figure, it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to have a more natural stick motion and for it to not be disrupted. If I actually do that a little bit closer to my hand, as far as the stick on stick, as opposed to closer to the bead, it's going to make um, less interruptions with the natural path of that left hand stick. Just a little something there. All right, moving on here. So my next two beats are going to be based off of triplets. And I basically have these right hand flams that's gonna be leading into um, a flammed five, which is just a five stroke roll with a flam at the beginning of that particular rudiment. So I have this triple lit, triple lit one, right? So the actual shot is on the third partial of the first triplet, triple lit, right? Rim shot, triple lit. And then off of the left hand, triple it one. Tri flam flam ah. Uh. Triple it ah uh, flam flam ah. Uh. Triple it ah uh, flam flam flam. Triple shot ah uh, flam flam flam. Just know that to me, after that rim shot, it just feels like a, a low left hand note and then the three flams that are coming up after that. Triple shot ah uh, flam flam flam. Triple shot ah uh, flam flam flam. Let's just try that nice and slow and it'll kind of build up speed just a little bit. Go on this fast. Ba, 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 ba. Two, ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Two, ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Two, ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, two, ready, and. Ba, 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 ba. Making sure we keep that left hand nice and low. Ba, 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 ba. On those flams. Ready? And. Ba, 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 ba. And it will feel like a little bit of a quick motion going from that last flam into the downbeat of the flammed five, which is right where we were ending because you have that sort of unaccented flam going directly into an accented flam. And then on top of that, it will be a diddled articulation. So just know there's gonna have to be a lot of relaxed energy within your hands to be able to do that accurately. Let's take that just a little bit faster now. So ta 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 two ready and ta 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 two ready and ta 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 ready and ta 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 two ready and ta 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 two ready and ta 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 two ready and ta -ta 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 -ta. very nice all right so we're coming off of those triplets we just ended on the downbeat of the flam five what's going to happen here is i have that flammed five which is just off of the right hand five stroke roll with the flam on the downbeat and then i have that eighth note five lit off of the left hand and all of those are going to be on the left hand let's just take that by itself at this tempo Right, so it's technically it's technically like three beats. Right, let's try it. And one, two, ready, and two, ready, and two, ready, and yep, two, ready, and again, ready, and two, ready, and ready and nice now after that we have sort of two sets of a similar idea the only thing that's going to be a little bit different is that i'm not going to be playing a flam five anymore i'm just going to single that rhythm right and then on top of that i'm going to be playing that eighth note five lit idea as single so not all left hand so and then five lit off of the left hand. Ta 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 ta. 
Now, that's going to be decrescendoing. And that same kind of three beat figure happens twice through. So. Let's actually try that a few times at that tempo. And one, two, ready? And. Yeah. Again, two, ready? And. Again, ready? And. Again, ready? And. Again, ready? And. Again, ready? And I'm really looking for smoothness and consistency and, and energy in my hands, even though I'm decrescendoing, the energy and the intent of the rhythm continues to go throughout the passage. Let's back it up now and start on the flam five with the left hands going into sort of the singled versions of the same thing. Let's try it. Two, one, two, ready, and... Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and get some full runs in. Of course, if things are going a little bit too fast for you, you can click on the gear icon. You can slow the video down. You can pause it just to work on one or two sections a little bit more. Let's make it happen. One, two, three. <laughs> Here it is. Two, three, three. Awesome. Once again, it's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. Go ahead and give me a like on the way out, and I'll see you in the next video.